Hi, my name is Agnes and I ruptured my Achilles tendon on June 8, 2016 and this is going to be just, just a quick uh, recap of my week 2 and 3 post rupture. Uh, I have a week 1 video in my links below and uh, this is going to be week 1 and 2 of my protocol which is my recovery week 2 and 3 post rupture. I started my protocol one week after my rupture. So it's going to be quick because there is really not much as far as um, something you're doing recovery wise. I was told initially, by the way I'm non-surgical route so it's slightly different, the initial weeks are slightly different than if when you have a surgery. But for non-surgical route initially in the beginning, the, the very beginning you're supposed to be non-weight bearing and the foot needs to be in the plant reflection which is toes pointing down. My boot was adjusted, by the way, this is the boot that I have, it was adjusted at 35 uh, degrees plantar flexion and uh, as I mentioned I was supposed to be non-weight bearing and what I was told is not to remove the boot for anything other than spot cleaning occasionally. So what I was using was basically there is adult wipes, it's in my equipment video, uh, just to wipe it down. Uh, every couple of days or so and I always wear a sock inside of my boot and use uh, like uh, sneakers uh, spray in the boot so that was done like I said every two every three days uh, but other than that is just uh, resting the foot um, by resting I mean elevating and icing and since I was not supposed to remove the boot I was icing in the boot so what I did, I just like unstrapped the straps of my boot, uh, put my foot on a pillow with it unstrapped, I just put an ice back inside of the boot. I just didn't want to risk my foot moving any higher than 35 degrees since in non-operative non treatments your ends of your tendon are not attached yet. They're healing during this first um, three, you know, three weeks or so. So I just want to make sure <laughs> that I don't mess with that angle. Um, other than that, as far as he uh, healing of this injured leg, there is nothing else um, that is uh, happening in the initial weeks. Um, I think this first, um, you know, weeks were more of a getting used to the whole situation, getting used to hopping on one leg, you know, figuring out, figuring out systems in your life how to move around, how to do everything. For me this was not too difficult <coughs> because I had I walk to that zero. Uh, I have a review of it in my ATR playlist as well. It's basically hands-free crutch and I just did everything on it. So the one thing I noticed during week two and three was that whatever I did actively, let's say I prepared lunch or you know I cleaned or went somewhere, I after a while I just had to sit and elevate my foot. The swelling um, was happening pretty rapidly during the week at 2 and 3. So elevation was really a key. Even when I was working at uh, the desk in my office at home, I had to put my foot up on the desk and basically work. I was not able to keep my foot non-elevated for long periods of time. Uh, I did not feel any pain at all. I have not been taking any painkillers, but the swelling was pretty intensive if I did not elevate. Um, other than that, I was trying to basically be in different room every day just to you know change the environment a little bit. I was never laying in bed. I was always um, you know trying to lead life as normally as possible. And one thing, something I started in week one actually, I was exercising almost every day. So I was lifting weights and doing non-weight bearing exercises. Basically in week one I sort of like tried to figure out how to adapt the exercises. I, I know not to use the lower leg of the injured leg. And after I figured out set of exercises, I worked out almost every day. And that's something I would recommend to anyone, even if you haven't been working out before it, it's I think really good because by sitting you're not really using the muscles that you normally use doing regular activities so you might feel a little bit dull and weaker but I, th I think the working out really gave me more energy and you know it was easier to move around and it's definitely easier on your mind. So I would definitely recommend uh, you know workouts and also just making sure 
that the upper leg of the injured leg gets some kind of workout so I did a lot of leg lifts um, just basically everything in the boot like I make sure don't put any weight on that foot and you know try to move the rest of your body as much as possible other than that it's just uh, I, by the way we by the week three I was trying to get out as much as possible I actually went to friends baby shower um, I was just making the decision selectively if there were not kids over there if there were not it wasn't too crowded then you know I was keen on going and actually uh, you know meeting with people week two I didn't but towards the end of week three I felt I have to you know get out and even in the evening go with my husband to the store and actually get out even though I was not much help in the store but you know it gave me mental peace as well so it does get better after this first three weeks you know I'm in week five right now I'm just catching up with the videos and I can tell you the first three weeks or so it was just getting used to the new situation but you know it, it changes quickly as far as you know you get used to you know you know your limits you know you know how to do things by then and you know by the way by the time the week four rolls in it's much easier so hang in there if you're at the beginning stages it does get better you know and uh, as far as leg no pain and you know it seems like it's going it's recovering well so thanks for watching and hope everyone's legs are healing well. Thanks for watching.